I was wrong. Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and on May 2nd of 2018, Cobra Kai Season 1 was released, and it was met with a very positive reception, scoring 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. A couple months later, on October 26 of 2018, Deadline reported that actress Peyton List would join the cast of Cobra Kai as a new recurring character in Season 2. When it was announced that Peyton List was joining the cast of Cobra Kai, we didn't know much about her character except that she was a troubled teen new to the valley. As we got closer to Cobra Kai Season 2, we found out that she's going to be the karate rival of Samantha LaRusso and that she was going to be one of the darker characters on the show. Now, Peyton List is a very famous actress who is in a lot of different projects, but she's most known for her roles on the Disney Channel shows Bunked and Jesse, where she played Emma Ross. And if you watch those shows, you'll see that her character, Emma, is nothing like Tori. In those Disney Channel shows, she's playing this sweet, nice girl, and you couldn't possibly picture her getting into a fight or knowing anything about karate. And she didn't. Peyton List had no martial arts experience going into Cobra Kai. So while I wasn't mad at the casting decision, I was actually excited because I knew this actress and I was excited to see what they were going to do with her character. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical about how they would introduce her into the show and how she would play this tough girl who's an adversary to Sam, even though she was playing this sweet girl from Disney Channel. I really wasn't sure if she would be able to pull it off. And then the season 2 trailer came out and she was epic in it, but that's still not enough. What is she actually going to be like in this season? And then season 2 comes out and Peyton List absolutely blows me away with her performance as Tori. Her acting is incredible and her martial arts is also amazing. For having never done martial arts before, she learned it so fast and she looks like she's been doing it all her life. And she's genuinely scary. It's crazy how someone like her could play a Disney Channel character who's the nicest person alive and you wouldn't be scared of her at all and then she can transform into this character of Tori and become terrifying when she wants to be. The whole season 2 was setting her up making her character darker and darker and by the time we got to that school fight when she was walking down the hallway to confront Samantha, I was terrified of this girl. I thought she was crazy, I thought she was scary, and I just know that if I was there, I wouldn't want to mess with someone like her. And then in season 3, she continued to exceed my expectations as the writers challenged her to become more darker and more compelling, that's what she did. While I'm not the biggest fan of the character of Tori because I think she's a little too much on the crazy side, I do really respect how Peyton List portrays her and she's one of the most intriguing characters on the show because of how crazy she is and because of how much stuff is going on in her mind because we know that she's dealing with a lot in her home life and with her friends friends and with her sensei and everything so that all is compiling into this stress and this anger that she's unleashing and the way that Peyton List is able to portray this and to show this anger I'm sure it's exactly how the writers envisioned and watching it unfold on screen is one of the most compelling things about the show and her character just has so much depth and dimension that I am always intrigued when she appears appears on screen and we're watching a scene with her because you never know what to expect. You don't know if she's going to just go off in that moment. You don't know what she's going to do. So I really love watching her character and I think Peyton List does a remarkable job and she definitely proved me wrong because not only was she able to play this character, but I really believe she surpassed everyone's expectations. I think she knew going into it that a lot of people were going to doubt her because of her 
passed on Disney, but she's done something that most actors and actresses really can't say that they have, and that's to be able to play two completely different roles and to be able to excel at both. And I think this really solidifies her as an actress in the future because now casting directors can see that she can play a nice, sweet, innocent girl like she was on Disney Channel, but she can also play a vicious, tough girl like she is on Cobra Kai. And that's definitely going to set her up for an amazing future and an amazing career because while she's already very successful at her age, I think this is only the beginning for her. So I want to know in the comment section below if you were familiar with Peyton List from Disney Channel before Cobra Kai and did you think that she was going to be able to pull off the role as Tori even after they described it as this tough girl who was the adversary to Sam Russo? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a new Cobra Kai Kid video. Hit that like button and share the video with your fellow Cobras and Miyagi Dos. I'll see you all next time on Cobra Kai Kid. And until then, remember, Cobra Kai never dies.